My name is Courtney Derry, and this is Arts Alive. My guest today is Trey Thompson, recent Amity High School class of 2023 grad, congratulations, and Thank current you. Chemeketa student. Um, and we are here today talking about your photography and your art, and then also a little bit about um, you were one of the students that was mentored during the Art Harvest Studio last year, and just the whole the whole process of that, because I went to that studio tour and it was really cool. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming, Trey. Thanks for having me. So um, when we brought, I love the variety of photos that are represented here. And I guess when, tell me about your camera. <laughs> okay, so this <laughs> because is. Because you had mentioned it before. <laughs> So this is a camera that my grandma gave me a long time ago. And this is what I actually started off on, aside from my phone, obviously, but this is what kind of got me into the gateway of photography and kind of, I started experimenting with it and then just started actually taking it seriously. And yeah, just kind of went from there. Yeah, how, and how old do you think you were? Like little kid or Oof. teen? No, I was probably in like middle school, so okay. I, I don't, not sure exactly, but... And it went, um, like you said, you had been taking photos on your phone and thing, and just, was it using the different camera that was exciting? Like, what about <laughs> photography really excited you and were like, made you want to do more of it? Um, honestly, I love the, just the way I can mess with anything and just kind of edit it to how I want it, or just kind of see something that I wouldn't normally see and pick out unusual things or other interesting things that I wouldn't normally think about when just walking around. Yeah, I think some like photography, well, and I think it definitely shows, it's a lot about the details of, and those kind of little things, like the way, um, I love, I must, that's a daisy, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. I so, I would more like embarrassing myself on the television. <laughs> But I mean, I love how, um, yeah, just the details of it. And I don't think it's the kind of thing somebody just walking and seeing when I'm growing on the side of the road doesn't necessarily stop for. Um, well, and I have a feeling these don't seem to be taken anywhere in, near Amity or Yamaha <laughs> County. So have you done some travel photography as well? A tiny bit, yeah. So recently I went on a trip with my dad and we went to uh, New York and every state in between to Florida. And so this one right here was actually taken in New York in the subways. And then me and Bonnie were like, well, let's try it in black and white. And it just turned out really cool. And then that one, I think that one was taken in Philadelphia. Oh, neat. I think if you look back, right all the way back there, it's like a uh, recreation of the gates of hell. Oh, that's I just, I just thought it looked really neat. And so I was like, let's capture it. Yeah, well, and I, especially that kind of like not just through the like a back, so you kind of get the doorway in the photo makes it, it adds something. And so you, so you decided for the Art Harvest Tour, um, was that something where you signed up and you wanted to do it or? <laughs> so that's a funny thing because before I went to college where I am now, I applied to a bunch of scholarships, and one of the scholarships I applied to was, uh, I don't remember the name of it exactly, but Bonnie Hickerson was the one that saw my application. She was like, well, not the scholarship, but let's give him a mentorship. And then she messaged me and was like, hey, we should meet up. I was like, why not? And then it just kind of, she kind of met up a few times, butted heads, and then came up, <laughs> came up with all this. And so was it, I guess, so the the Art Harvest Tour happens in like end of September, beginning of October. When did you start working with her, kind of looking at your photography? Oof, I'm not a sure, I'm not sure exactly, but I think it was like maybe two months before. Okay. It was like right after I completed uh, high school at Amity. Oh, nice. Well, and so the, um, in terms of like, how did it go kind of, Picking, how'd you pick which ones that you wanted to show during the art tour? Like, I put. <laughs> okay, so a lot of it was just trial and error, uh -huh. but also was just kind of like, 
this looks unusual. Maybe someone might find this interesting, or this looks interesting, or cool, or whatever. That's that's kind of what I was going with these ones. I was like, oh, you know, you can see all the detail in this one, and then I was like, that that looks pretty interesting. Okay. Same with that one too. And then I don't know. I just kind of take the picture as I'm like, so like my eyes are the viewfinder, okay. and that's just kind of it's kind of how I take the picture. And. I guess there was also kind of the details about deciding cost and how much, what was that like trying to put a monetary value on your photos? <laughs> okay, so funny thing was, is every time I tried doing that, uh, Bonnie would always tell me like, no, price it up higher, price it up higher. <laughs> I was like, but I'm not sure. She's like, oh no, people want to buy these, price them up higher. And I was like, okay, we'll try it. And then they ended up being a little too high, so we lowered them down mm -hmm. and then they were perfect. And then. Yeah. Well, there you go, which is a learning experience. <laughs> but it also, oh. I think it's, you know, it's kind of hard to put a price on, like, something that you see or however long. And do you like doing a lot of, um, you had mentioned kind of editing. Do you do a lot of photo editing? Yeah. So before, when I would just take pictures, honestly, I would just kind of, like, set them in, like, a little folder and just forget about them until I'd find them and be like, oh, that's neat. Mm -hmm. But then... Earlier this year, I was like, okay, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to learn Adobe Lightroom Classic and just go with it. So then I spent like several hours just watching everything, learning everything about it. And then next thing you know, I just got really good with it and then made these. That's so cool. And that's what, like the, um, all the, it's fancy, like, like Photoshop, but fancier. Yeah. Okay. It's because, <laughs> yeah. But, and then, so during the tour, you were there at, it was happening at a uh, Bonnie studio at the same time. And so what was that like? Like actually, I mean, was that nerve wracking to have people kind of looking at your art and awkward? Honestly, I wasn't really nervous. I was more like excited. I was more excited to tell people like, I created this, I did this. And I was like, I don't know. I just felt really proud of myself and I was like, I can do this, and I was like, nice. And it's, it's a lot of excitement. I mean, I was a little nervous, but after talking to a few people that were just absolutely amazing, I just got super comfortable, and it was, yeah. That's cool. So people were asking good questions. And <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and I, you also, um, so like the framing and things, so you did all of that too. And these were, some of them, I remember you saying were fines. Thrift store finds, maybe? Nice. But did you, um, <laughs> was that kind of another part of it? Was, I feel like, the finding the frame and the perfect, and how much time went into that? Um, honest, for the framing, it, it kind of took a, took a while, mm -hmm. because a lot of times we would just kind of get a picture, kind of cut it out, print it and everything, and then just put it in the frame, and then, so like, a, I guess, trial and error process of just, what looks good, what not doesn't look good, or just kind of going with it. And uh, a lot of these frames I actually got from my mom, and nice. they were in her, <laughs> in her closet, so it was like, nice. Oh, even better. Well, and I think it's also kind of deciding which, like, I feel like the picture that has all the detail, like, you want that kind of blown up so you can see all of that. And you wouldn't, I guess when you're reflecting on it, you wouldn't think too much about it, but it's like, it makes a kind of a big difference, like which ones are which size and things. But that sounds like a really cool experience. It was very fun. I'm so thankful to have Bonnie be my mentor and teach me everything that I know about, you know, printing to, I mean, photo editing to even also just doing the frames. Mm -hmm. I mean, it took a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes we wouldn't always agree, but then after that, we'd always create something that was very, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it other than just very awesome. That's wonderful. What, like, what kind of things wouldn't you agree on? Um, so the first thing would probably be the prices. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> um, and then there's some things where I would, I would edit them. She'd be like, mm, let's, let's change this. And I was like, are we sure about that? Should we really do that? And then, but I mean, if you don't disagree, then yeah. <laughs> you can kind of keep going from there. Oh yeah. 
And so what is next for you and your photography? What do you, you had mentioned, so you're, uh, you're at Chemeketa, but you're not studying photography. Yes, I am <laughs> studying business because, um, like you said earlier, or I think it was you, um, being a photographer, or whatever, artist, also you need to be a business person to sell yourself. And so I was like, well, I'm going to do this. And then if photography doesn't work out, that's my backup plan. Mm -hmm. And just kind of want to want to go with something that's not fully locking me in so that I can kind of divert in any way I want to go. Yeah, smart. Yeah. Have your future. <laughs> <laughs> and if you, so I guess, um, if you had to pick a particular photo that you took that like will go down as like the best, like the moment was perfect or the way that you captured it was perfect. Do you, do you have a favorite photograph? That's a hard one. That's I a, know. That's it's a impossible. really hard one. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I know one of my favorites is definitely this one mm -hmm. because when I took it, it was in color and then I was like, oh, this looks neat. It was, I mean, before it was, it was really dark and everything, but I, mm -mm. You know what? Probably that one. Probably that one. It, <laughs> it's just, I mean, because I spent a lot of time on it, mm -hmm. you know, taking the photo. I was, it's in New York, so that was already, like, crazy. And then the subway tunnels are, like, a thousand degrees down there. It's, like, oh, no. crazy. But then when it came to editing, I actually edited each one of these individual lights to make oh, them yeah. whatever brightness I wanted them to make. So mm -hmm. then it looks more natural. Because before it was super dark and it oh. looked very purple. Oh, that's so cool. It's kind of interesting. Should have had like a before and after photo <laughs> to see. But no, I mean, and that's the thing. Like you look at that photo and you can, you, you can feel the grittiness. <laughs> like it definitely, it's very well done. Well, thank you. And um, thanks. So the Art Harvest Tour, and then um, you had mentioned, so are you, did you just start your second year at Chemeketa or your first year at Chemeketa? It's actually my second term. Your second term. <laughs> <laughs> but do you see yourself maybe doing more, like taking art classes or kind of doing something like with your photography kind of next level? Well, with photography, I've always kind of liked to learn it like on my own pace yeah. and a lot of it I've actually learned from online, just from watching YouTube or going on Reddit, seeing what people have to say, and just kind of learning. I mean, just kind of, I don't know. I like to go at my own pace just to learn, just to fill in the gaps that I don't have. Yeah, and I feel like it's wonderful to have the kind of like one-on-one -on -one kind of mentoring that you had with Bonnie, but then also I have to, the amount of times I've gone to Reddit to try and figure <laughs> out, <laughs> get an opinion on something. Just want to see what the internet has to say. You know, like, yeah, there's just so many resources out there. And... Oh yeah. Wonderful. Well, Trey, thanks so much for coming in and sharing about your photography and congrats on your successful run in the Art Harvest well, Tour. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> it was amazing again. I can't thank everyone enough i mean it was it was just amazing experience that's so cool well thanks again thanks this is courtney terry and this has been arts alive